Hello guys, good day. This is Anna of Reinforcement Club. Today we are going to talk about habit hacking in a deeper level to transform your life. So have you ever wondered why you do certain things automatically, like brushing your teeth every morning or before you go to bed, or checking your phone as soon as you wake up? In this episode today, we'll explore the fascinating concept of habits and how they influence our daily lives. Now, we have spoke about the so-called uh, habit loop in our previous episode, particularly episode 52. And today, we are going to bring that up for us to understand more about our habits. Now, habit loop is like a, a cycle that our brain go through whenever we do something out of habit. It is a powerful tool for us because it helps us understand why we do the things we do and how we can change it if we want to. So there are four stages of ha habit loop. Number one is cue. The second one is craving. The third one is response. And lastly, reward. That's the fourth one. So speaking about cue, cue is like a, a signal that, that tells your brain that it's time to do something. It's like an alarm clock that goes off inside your head whenever there's a, it could be environmental cue or emotional cue. So let's take this for example. I I've been in Europe for I've been living in Europe for like more than four years and counting now. And I do my best to go home in the Philippines every year. I tell you about the queue. Every time I step down from the airplane to the airport in the Philippine vicinity, that's the queue when I step down walking around the airport. I immediately look for Jollibee Chicken Joy with rice and Jollibee Burger. And the next thing that I'm going to look for is Halo Halo. Halo Halo Chow King or Mang Inasal Halo Halo. Or any respective restaurant who sells Halo Halo. I immediately look for that. Basically, if I have, you know, when I arrive in the Philippines, I have to wait for one or two hours for my, my family to pick me up, I go to Jollibee. So that's the cue. Whenever I step down, because it only happens every year, I step down from plane to the airport, Philippine airport, I look for Jollibee and eat a crispy, spicy, chicken joy, Filipino taste with rice and Jollibee burger. So that is my craving. I crave for uh, Filipino food, Filipino brand. Because, you know, uh, Jollibee has been part of my life since I was a kid. We go to Jollibee, we eat this chicken joy, and I grew up in the Philippines. So that's part of me. Whenever I, I visit my, my native land, I look for that. It's natural. So my cue is, once again, whenever I step down from plane to the airport, and then I go to Jollibee. That is my craving. Filipino foods. Particularly those foods that I'm crazy about when I was a kid. That up to now, I'm still crazy about it. And my response to that, you know, the third stage of habit loop is to look for Jollibee fast food anywhere in the airport. As well as Chow King. Uh, they don't have Mang Inasal yet in the airport. Yeah, Manila Airport. But uh, of course, I'm still gonna look for that for Halo Halo. If there is, if there's ever, if there is any Mang in the sal, I will go to Mang in the sal. I prefer Mang in the sal. Halo Halo. I know I'm promoting, but yeah, that's a Filipino brand. And then this is my response. And then when I eat those Filipino food, and I it fills me in like never been before. It only happens once a year. It's tasty. Delicious Filipino taste, Filipino foods. That's my reward. I'm already happy. That's the first part of my happiness in the airport alone, Philippine airport. Now, we have spoke about this four stages in that entire experience. Now, speaking about the craving, craving is the anticipation. It is the feeling you get when you want something. Like when you crave for a Filipino food by the time you arrive in the Philippine airport. It's like a voice inside your head saying, I really want that. Now, ASAP. 
please. So it's just like a voice inside your head. It's like an automatic action that you really have to look for that. And as a result, I look for, you know, Jollibee and Chowking in the airport. And of course, I have, uh, I've already, I'm already familiarized with the Manila airport. So I know where I, I go. And the third stage, response. Yeah. Response is what you actually do. You know, to really, to act on your cue and craving. So yeah, immediately I, I buy some fried chicken, crispy chicken, Jollibee crispy chicken, and then ate them. That's my response. And the reward, this is a good feeling after you've done the response. It's, a, it's like a, a little prize in your brain which ignites the dopamine and giving you an, a good feeling uh, for doing what you wanted. So since that entire process fills me in, it's easy, it's attractive, it's fulfilling, most probably the next time around I go back to Philippines, I would be happy to do it over and over again, regardless of whoever I'm with, with my, with my spouse, with my other, my loved ones, I would still do the same because that's, I, I love it. Nobody can stop me unless, you know, if it's emergency or end of the world, I would be happy. I would love to do it. So the same to, the same with everybody. So another example is, you know, this is based on my own reference and you already, you also have yours too. So whenever I wake up in the morning, I have a piece of paper which I tell myself, like gratitude and aff affirmation. And I do that, I give one to two minutes to read that with a pointing finger. In. I am enough. This, this is just, for example, I am rich. So those are some of my affirmations and things to be thankful for every morning. And with my workout routine, sometimes, you know, I there are some habits or some things to do I want to install in my Activities of daily living, like making contents, uh, honing my my skills and making videos. So I want to uh, I want to give two to three hours for that. And sometimes it mess up with my workout routine. So I tried, you know, working out after my affirmation, my gratitude moment, which is one to two minutes by the time I get up from bed. So I tried uh, to work out. Now, after my rituals in the morning, I work out for one hour or one hour and 20 minutes, one hour and 15 minutes. And sometimes, you know, it, it actually mess up with my brain that I don't know which part of the day I must feel my workout time. But it's important for me not to miss the workout. It could be the start of the day or end of the day around 4 or 5 p.m. in the afternoon. So I have to do that because that's, you know. It makes me feel complete whenever I work out. It's not every day. I work out three to four times a week in my day off only. But my, you know, my best part is whether, you know, I I have to do the, the content creation just like what I'm doing right now and delivering this message to you, making videos and contents. That's a must. Work out, I can be flexy with that, but it's still a must for me. So the thing is, Every time I get up in the morning doing my rituals, affirmation, and gratitude, I immediately go to you know, my little gym downstairs, work out, or I start making contents. I start honing my skills in video creation for two to three hours. So those are my routines. So yeah, the, the cue is whenever I get up, I, the next thing to do is whenever I get up, I do my affirmation, my gratitude moment, one to two minutes or three minutes. So that's the cue. And the response is, you know, whenever I get up, it's important for me to feel grateful about the day, about my new life. And that feels, that that's, that makes me happy. That makes me grateful about the day. It's a good feeling to be thankful whenever you wake up. Give thanks to the Lord or give thanks to the universe, to the planet Earth, that you still have a life. 
And not everybody has the opportunity to do this. So be thankful every day. So I, for me, that's for me. That, you know. And then my response every time I do gratitude moments every morning after I get up, yeah, I feel good. And then that's the reward, the feeling of being grateful today. And, and I head, head off to my next habits. So, so that, that is the, you know, the, the face of being thankful about the day. And, uh, yeah. And also when I'm working, I, I read 20 to 30 minutes before sleep, regardless of the time I, I want to, I want to be on bed already by 10 o'clock in the evening, but sometimes it, it doesn't happen it, yeah, maximum is 11 o'clock in the evening. So before that, I have to, or I must, read for 20 to 30 minutes before going to bed. Otherwise, it feels like I'm not, an, my day wouldn't be complete. So the, the trigger is whenever I, you know, before I sleep, I get changed and then I clean up myself. And whenever I sit down on the desk in my bedroom, that's the that's the cue and then response is to grab the book and then read feed myself a little bit of knowledge before i go to bed and then that was my response the action itself and then the, re the reward is yeah i think i'm okay now i can finally go to sleep so understanding the the habit loop helps us see how our habits work and once we know the habit loop, we can figure out how to change the habits that we want to change. All right. Maybe we want to eat, uh, to eat healthier snacks or food the next time around so we could use, you know, our knowledge about the habit loop and changing it, interrupting those those cues of the bad habits that we have. So, it, yeah, it's helpful. It will it knowing the habit loop empowers us to really know ourselves more and. Uh, help us change, to be in control, to change the, the habit which doesn't benefit us at all. Since we've already spoke about the four stages of habit loop, we are going to bring about the two strategies on how to start a new habit. Number one is habit stacking. Habit stacking involves pairing a new habit you want to adapt with an existing habit that you already have. By linking the new habit to a specific cue or routine, you leverage the momentum of an established behavior to make a new habit easier to implement. So let's take the previous example that we have. You know, beforehand, I don't really know what to do whenever I wake up in the morning. And since I want to have a good vibe before working, before I face the day, I have decided to be thankful to give myself a time, a warm up before I start my day. And part of that warm up is the affirmation and the gratitude moment, which only happens two to three minutes or five minutes. You know, if I mix up with, you know, staring at the ceiling, thinking about what I'm going to do, but with, with, the, with my day that I have, so five minutes maximum. So the cue is getting up on bed. And then I start doing my gratitude moment, reading my affirmations, things that I want, you know, that I want to be, five years from now, which takes a lot of work that happens every day to five years from now. So I remind myself what I want, who I want to be every day without fail before I go to sleep at night and whenever I wake up in the morning. So that's what I do. I got a list there in the other room. So I do that before I hit the day. Hit it. So yeah, and I pair it with either working out, which is also hard. I, I do work out even if I don't like it. I don't really like to work out, but it makes me complete and it benefits me in the long run. So I want to, I still want to work out even though I don't like it. So every time, I, whenever I'm finished with my, with my uh, gratitude phase of the day, I immediate, immediately go down to my little gym downstairs to work out. Or... I pair it with the, you know, going to my mini office here, doing video creation or content creation, anything I want that is useful for two to three hours. So that's, those are hard 
habits for me, hard things to do, content, content creation and working out. But since my ritual phase, you know, whenever I get up, which happens after I get up on bed, it's easy. And there's easy peasy. Like there's, like there's not much of effort being thankful whenever you wake up in the morning. Not much. You just have to be thankful. Top 10 things you want to be thankful about and the things that you want a couple of months from now, years from now. Just reminding yourself, updating yourself that this is what we want. This is what we are he- where we are heading to in time. You just have to read it. And there's not much of an effort to be put in there. But working out, working out and content creation is hard for me. So I just pair it with, you know, with the read with with my gratitude habit. That every time and that after I, I finish my gratitude habit, I just hit the gym uh, or I start my my work, my content creation works. Creation, sorry, content creation job or you know, habits. It's not a ha- habit for me, content creation. It's a habit because I love it. I love doing it without without hesitation it's just that you're not you're not 100% every day so it has to be paired with something easy so that's to me that is habit stacking or another thing is that filipinos love eating rice that's a habit already it's already like an engraved habit engraved habit in our brain not all filipinos do eat rice though i wouldn't generalize it but majority so once we have rice, there's already habit eating rice, we pair it with our native delicacies or we pair it with anything that we love, you know, could be our, any dishes, fine with rice. So pairing it with something else, chicken joy with rice or hot dog with rice, hot dog and egg with rice, crispy pata with rice, all with rice. Or crabs, stew crabs with rice. It's hard to eat the crab though, big crabs. So with rice, it's easy. <laughs> Everything gets easy with rice. So we just pair it. So that's habit stacking. The next strategy for st- starting a new habit is what we call implementation intentions. So implementation intentions are specific plans or statements that detail when, where, and how you will perform a desired behavior. So this helps bridge the gap between intention and action by creating a clear roadmap for behavior change. For example, you want to be a reader. You want to implement a reading habit in your life every day. So you want, you've decided to read 30 minutes before going to sleep in your bedroom every day. So this is what you're going to tell yourself. I am going to read for 30 minutes before going to sleep in my bedroom Every day. That's it. Another example is, you know, you've never done a workout in your entire life. And you've decided to spare time for exercise to give yourself a heads heads up for being, you know, you just want to be good to yourself. You've decided to exercise, which is you want to you want the kind of exercise which is less challenging. So you decided to just walk for 30 minutes in the park after work. So this is what you're going to tell yourself. I will go for a 30-minute walk in the park every day after work. So there you go. It hand, it answers when, where, and how you will perform that new habit. Now, having, having these two strategies, habit stacking and implementation of implementation intentions, this will help you increase the likelihood to follow uh, following through on your desired behavior by providing a concrete plan of action this will also you know these two strategies will help you overcome potential obstacles and it will make it easier for you to intentionally start a new habit and be consistent on it so especially this uh, habit stacking though it uh, eliminates the need for you to re- rely on your willpower or motivation to initiate a new habit because you you're already you're already there you're already on in the action in the act of doing something you just have to start you just, just push yourself a little bit to start the new one like when you wake up in the morning after your routine you know gratitude routine gratitude phase 
in the morning. You just simply push yourself a little bit, you know, drag yourself to your little gym and then start working out. In it could be 40, 60 days, and then it's going to be automatic for the rest of your life if you decide to be consistent and obedient to that new habit that you have. So that's that's it for today, guys. This is Anne of Reinforce Me Club. I hope you like the the content topic today. And uh, I am in YouTube, Facebook, uh, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, Reinforce Me Club. And if you like this content, you can share it to your family and friends. Thank you so much once again. Have a lovely day. Thank you.